Hello and welcome to this course on Terraform. My name is Sijesh and this video we will see how to use lookup function to fetch some values. Okay, so here we are using uh, the Terraform. Okay, so here we are using Terraform configuration file to deploy EC2 instance. So what we need is like uh, so we are defining the AWS region as variable and uh, whenever we change the AWS region the AMI ID has to fetch or AMI ID has to change. So for this we are <coughs> writing a Terraform config file. So first let's uh, check uh, create a directory. Okay so first let, let me create a directory demo 13 and uh, go inside that directory demo 13 and uh, the first step create the variable file so variable dot tf variables dot tf it can be any name but for the sake of convenience i am defining as variables dot tf and uh, i am defining my variable variable so aws underscore region and opening and closing brace in between i can have uh, my description and uh, this is aws region and uh, default so api iphone southeast iphone 1 okay and uh, the type is again the optional value so what i have is aws region and its default values ap southeast i may change this value either during the runtime or using the variable file so next uh, uh, we will define another variable aws underscore amis and uh, it's a default value is again a map okay so map consists of opening and closing base and the map consists of the type ap southeast iphone 1 this is having the value uh, so this is the ami id so which is available on southeast ap southeast one or singapore location and the next location i'm selecting is us east one i think it's a north virginia and ami id available is this one so we use that okay and closing this variable so this variable is having a default value which is of type map okay so this is the key and its value this is a key and this is its value and it's not mi it's a ami right so we have two mi ids for each region say for example if i'm in this region so only this i need if i'm choosing this region i need to choose and again the region is also a variable i can change this region based on that the value has to change during the deployment so that's it for this uh, definition next uh, we will write our main tf and uh, as we all know like uh, so the first thing is like uh, the provider and the secret key and the region so the region i can write it like a dollar so var dot aws underscore region okay so this is from taking the value from the variable aws underscore region is the variable which i have defined and it take that value and uh, next is i need to define uh, the resource aws underscore instance and uh, so my ec2 some name you can give and uh, opening and closing brace in between i need to 
type some properties instance type equal to t2 dot micro so i'm choosing very lightweight instance because it's just for testing purpose i don't need to deploy heavy instance then ami so ami is the ami id which i'm going to take and so opening and closing trace so i need i'm using the function lookup lookup and var dot okay so what is the variable which i defined okay let me open a duplicate session here and uh, so this is the variable i need aws underscore amis so var dot aws underscore amis so that is the first parameter and the second parameter is var dot what is the region var dot aws underscore region and uh, close it and so how this work okay so this is a map okay so variable var dot aws underscore amis is a map and it's a default values this one okay so we have one key and one value and the second parameter is aws region so that is just a parameter so that is expecting single string like this so in this case so ap southeast so that is a value for this parameter so if lookup function okay so for ap southeast so what is the value in this aws underscore ami so that is this one alone so effectively ami will get or this uh, lookup function will return the value so which is the same as this one suppose if i change this ap southeast to us east one and again the ami will have the value this one okay so that is how uh, this work and again if you need uh, some count or maybe uh, multiple instances you can have this and along with some other properties also we can have just go ahead and save and uh, the first thing terraform fmt so fmt will do the formatting so that the files look uh, better and uh, the next is do terraform init so terraform init will download the plugins which are needed for the the provider that we have defined so since we are using with the aws so it will ask to download the plugins for aws so maybe it takes some yeah so that is completed so now once this is done do terraform uh, validate so it will do a validation and uh, you should get a success message okay so now we are good to do the deployment so here we have defined two file main.tf so that is nothing but a simple uh, terraform configuration file with the provider section this is self-explanatory and uh, the resource uh, section so which we are going to deploy aws instance and instance type t2 micro so here we are using a lookup function the first argument is a map second argument is some value so based on this value it will take the value from this map so finally we will have a single value for this ami so now let's uh, try to do the deployment terraform apply okay so plan it's uh, going to do the deployment of one and uh, somewhere you can see this has taken uh, this instance so we will just verify that so that is the instance value and uh, we can confirm it typing yes and then continue in the aws console you can see the, the deployment is in our progress so we have not added any tag nothing so that is the reason it's with the coming with the uh, 
without the name okay so that's it it's uh, deployed so uh, next let me change uh, this variable uh, sorry I think uh, we have already opened that variable and uh, this one the location I need to change US East one and uh, verify that yes US East one and uh, this AWS console it's still running but we have choose uh, some other location US North Virginia so we can just do the rough form plan and see what it's going to do so definitely it has to terminate that instance and deploy this instance with the new ID I don't know why uh, since it's maybe it's in the new location so we'll have to delete uh, the old one from the other location so let me just take this and uh, this one and uh, let's uh, do a terraform destroy to clean uh, that instance so once prompted type yes and then continue so that is done so now let's uh, change uh, this location to US East one that is North Virginia and then change that value here because if you change the variable of AWS region then only that instance value also change so now uh, we will just do terraform plan and uh, you can see the new ID something like this so that is the our uh, second ID okay so when 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 you when you change this value for AWS region, so the AMI ID it has taken is also changed. So now let's do a Terraform apply, and it will do the deployment using that instance ID or AMI ID. So once prompted, type yes to continue. Okay, so we can verify that from here uh, you cannot see here but uh, you need to change the location to North Virginia and then uh, check the instance you can see that instance is running so let's uh, do the cleanup using Terraform destroy so i hope you are clear on the lookup so lookup is used uh, for selecting the va value based on certain input so it accepts two parameter the first one is a map second one is a actual value or variable which is representing that value hope you are clear so thank you for watching this we will see in the next video bye